Um, the live.this device sends a bang once max for live is initialized. The live.path accepts a path message and sends out an ID number. The live.object receives an ID number in its right hand side so it knows what object to uh, manipulate and then it can receive messages telling it what to do to that object. Remember the live object model gives a list of all the possible messages that can be sent um, to live.object. The only thing we might need to do is set up a listener which is what live.observer is and we set it up very similar way. We set an ID number on the right hand side and a property in the left hand side and now the ID observer will send out a message every time that parameter is changed. So that's the, that's the basic functionality of the patch. Um, it's a, a really useful patch. I think it's laid out pretty well. Please download it, open it up, check it out. Um, try to break it and then try to fix it again. It really, Max is all about adding these little message boxes, seeing what's going on, seeing what messages are being passed around, and then kind of organically growing the patch. It's a really kind of fun real-time programming, and I hope this has given you a bit of insight on how we develop patches in Max for Live. Cheers.